Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that you too will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell, keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. So on one hand, we must contend through intimacy, encounters with his word, to rise to a point where our lives become an undoubtable reflection of the reality of who Christ is. And then on the other hand, we must have access to illumination, light, and understanding. It says, the entrance of thy word giveth light, then it gives understanding unto the simple. And one of the mysteries that we have come to understand that control so many things, so many results in the kingdom, is a mystery that the Bible identifies as thanksgiving. Now, let me tell you something. In your spiritual journey, you should be able to tabulate the principles of the kingdom that through the ministry of the Holy Spirit you have had access to versus the results they were designed to produce that way your christian experience becomes predictable so when you talk about wealth and prosperity you should be able to define the principle that governs it health and longevity the principle that governs it deliverance and breakthrough the principle that governs it are we together now influence and increase the principle that governs it if you cannot match the outcomes you desire versus the kingdom principles that are responsible for delivering them, your Christian life will be barren because you will largely be guessing. You see, our ignorance in the body of Christ is not ignorance of what we want. We already know what we want. But the mysteries to be engaged that deliver the results we desire, we, do, we either do not know them or we do not understand their operation are we together now knowing them like i've always taught here is like having the ingredients for food if you have the ingredients for fried rice you have done well but that's not equal to fried rice you must understand the combination one mistake can make fried rice become something else one mistake are we together yeah. that's how it is so you must work with God to find out what ingredients are required for the outcome. Remember, I gave an analogy one time. I, I can't remember when. Um, if I want to buy, if I want to make yam and egg sauce, I may be wrong, but I think that rice is not needed in that combination. Is that true? So if I am on my way to the market and you sell rice for me, rice is good, but it's not needed as far as what I want to produce is concerned. Now, there are many useful informations in the kingdom, but you have to find out which ones are responsible for the formation of what you desire. So that, that certain lights are available does not mean they are necessarily needed for this aspect of your spiritual journey when a believer gets born again there are certain realities that are true and consistent with god's character but they are not part of the ingredients required 
to lay the foundation for his spiritual work are we together now so if someone just gets born again i'm not going to be teaching him on the principles for of, for wealth and prosperity it's unnecessary it's a wrong foundation it's like using zinc for foundation zinc is important for a building but there is a season when zinc is needed when the house is already built then you will need zinc are we getting it now so it is important that as we approach the word of god we stay with the holy spirit to define for us the ingredients required for every season of our growth he is the only one who has in his hands the blueprint of the mysteries required per time per growth you cannot guess what you think you need it's the same arrogance that a patient would demonstrate seeing a doctor when you come before a doctor you don't come and say doctor i think i need panadol no 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 no. you may not even have headache so you listen are we together there are times you feel healthy but the doctor will tell you you need a drip it's up to you to trust the wisdom and the sacrifice of the doctor brothers and sisters this is one of the excellencies of working with the spirit he minimizes wastage in your life so you don't invest your life doing many spiritual things that are not profitable they may be spiritual but are they profitable as defined by the season you are in it says the men of Issachar had an understanding of the times and they knew what they ought to do let the Holy Spirit be the one to unveil the curriculum of your spiritual development it is costly to guess it is costly to copy you must work with him to define the blueprint part time so there are seasons in your life where he will switch his emphasis to your finances you may feel you are getting carnal he will never talk to you about spiritual growth again because according to his desire for you the formation of the spiritual house he's raising necessitates that you now know the principles of wealth so even if you are fasting he will still lead you back to the principles of finances and then there are times even if i'm teaching on finances in koinonia his personalized dealings with you is helping you conform towards the character of the christ so after you benefit from my teaching when you go back with him he would fold that script and keep it to be reviewed when that season is open in your life and you will continue your dealing on character with him this is how men grow spiritually but most christians don't respect the leadership of the spirit we think because a truth is spiritual it is applicable now no not every truth is needed at every time the holy spirit must prioritize truth like a spiritual house then you will find out if you follow him i guarantee you you will never miss out on any area there may be seasons where you think you have not known certain things yet just walk with him because by the time you get the basics, he will now say, this was a simple issue. That's why I did not emphasize it in your growth. If not, we will major on the minors and minor on the majors. Academically speaking, there are different courses and we add credit units to them according to their relevance with respect to the degree you want to obtain. There are courses that are one credit unit. You can study them in three days. There are courses that are six credit units, three credit units. That's how it is in the spirit. Not every truth has equal value. They are all truth, but they do not have equal value. As far as the, the, the requirement for your destiny is concerned. Please, I'd like you before we continue to pray in one minute and say, Holy Spirit, I embrace your leadership. It, it's, it's not just important to be filled with the Holy Spirit. There are so many believers filled with the Holy Spirit. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. He didn't say, the Lord is my colleague. The Lord is my shepherd. He leads me. A sheep does not have a system of defense. It's only defense. It's his alignment to the voice of the shepherd. A sheep does not have horns. It cannot fight. His protection is absolutely dependent on the wisdom of the shepherd. So he says, like a sheep, the Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah one of these mysteries and i've shared it many times i would share it again is the mystery called thanksgiving there is a revelation about thanksgiving that many believers do not understand in the body of christ and so we have lost cheap battles we have given ourselves prey to situations and circumstances that truthfully speaking without any effort on our own would have established cheap victories may someone get this revelation today in the name of jesus christ thanksgiving is one of the mysteries that we see being practiced in the bible again and again that every time a people came to express their gratitude as individuals and as a corporate entity there was such a dramatic response that went beyond the object of their thanksgiving they thank god for certain things and god moved far beyond what they were thanking him for we see this even in the life of jesus the apostle of our faith many times in scripture we saw him engage this mystery and it produced dramatic results so i want to share with us very quickly why should i give thanks why should i incorporate this mystery as part of the principles for establishing the victory of christ jesus in my life why thanksgiving number one very quickly please the bible tells us that it is a good thing to give thanks psalms 92 from verse 1 to 3 tells us it is a good thing to give thanks unto the lord and the bible says every good and perfect gift comes from above so if thanksgiving is a good thing then it means thanksgiving is consistent with the character of god and worth practicing and worth living by the first reason why you must give thanks is that it is a good thing to give thanks unto the lord it is godly to be thankful write it down it is godly to be thankful it is spiritual to be thankful it's a good thing it is godly it is spiritual to be thankful number two first thessalonians 5 verse 18 the bible tells us there that it is the will of god for us to give thanks first thessalonians 5 verse 18 it says in everything give thanks for this is the will of god now listen the situation is not the will of god your response is what is the will of god it says in everything regardless of the outcome it should not affect your response give thanks for this the thanksgiving is the will of god so regardless of what is around me regardless of the outcome it should never affect my understanding and my approach of being ever thankful this is the will of god in christ concerning you that in all things you give thanks the second reason why we must engage the mystery of thanksgiving is that it is the will of god and we know that the only way the kingdom comes is when his will is being done matthew 6 verse 10 right thy kingdom come only when and if your will is being done so there is a dimension of the kingdom that needs to find expression in my life and that dimension is at the mercy of me fulfilling the will of god as far as thanksgiving is concerned meaning if i do not give thanks i rob god of the opportunity of demonstrating a dimension of the reality of his kingdom it is the will of god to give thanks number three thanksgiving according to john chapter 6 from verse 6 to 13 help us media is the secret to multiplication thanksgiving is the seed for more whenever you want more of anything in your life the key is not complaining the key is not grumbling the key is that you engage the mystery of thanksgiving multiplication and this he said to prove him for he himself knew what to do i love jesus he inspires me i love it every time the bible says he knew what to do it's terrible to not know what to do jesus knew what to do philip answered him 200 penny worth of bread 
is not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little we're reading to 13 8 one of the disciples andrew simon peter's brother said unto him there is a lad here that had five barley loaves and two small fishes but what are they what are they lord i have this little talent what is it called with respect to what i need for my life lord i want to build a house and all i have is ten thousand naira in my account what is ten thousand with respect to seven million or ten million that i need and jesus engages a mystery verse 10 and jesus said make the men sit down now there was so much grass in the place so the men sat down in number about five thousand eleven and jesus took the loaves and when he had what he distributed to the disciples and the disciples to them that were set down and likewise of the fish as much as they would 12 when they were filled he said to his disciples gather up the fragments that remain that nothing may be lost 13 therefore they gathered them together and filled 12 baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves which remain over and above unto them that had eaten thanksgiving that's all jesus did he took the bread he took the loaves lifted it to heaven and said father thank you because wherever there is thanksgiving the grace that multiplies will always answer whenever there is genuine thanks those who know this have changed their lives overnight you see when you study the old testament many times people were punished for murmuring one of the things that brought the anger of God upon the nation of Israel was murmuring and complaining. Is it only Moses you will speak to? This and that and that and that. And they went through catastrophic events. The Bible says Jesus lifted the baskets and he gave thanks. The African culture has trained our minds to not be thankful. Are we together? Someone gives you one 1,000 naira every day. And then you now say, sir, are you not knowing that I'm growing now? You started giving me one 1,000 before I married. Are you aware that my wife is pregnant with twins? We always want more by placing demands through complaint, by placing demands through ingratitude. But in the kingdom, the system of the kingdom is such that every time what you have is not enough, the way you let God know is to say thank you. Thank you is the code in the spirit that says, Lord, I need more. You don't say, give me more. You say, Lord, I thank you for the one you gave me. And then he knows that you have authorized yourself to move to the next level of supply. Can someone say, thank you, Jesus? Say it with all your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Don't say, Lord, except you are not Lord. I must finish this year well. I must, and I must finish. No, it must be my turn to chop. No. Lord, thank you. For me to be witnessing the 16th day of December, I give you thanks. And God will say, that's right. That is the code for finishing the year. That's the code for qualifying for 2017. Thanksgiving. Demons don't give thanks. They never give thanks. Not, one is, not once in scripture. There are some things demons cannot do. They cannot give thanks. It's not in the character of Satan to give thanks. It's anti-Satan to be thankful. You frustrate Satan when you give thanks. Not only is it a sign of contentment, it's a mystery that acknowledges that there is a God above you and that that God is worthy of thanks and that he has more than you have experienced and that it is within his power to extend his benevolence to your life. Say it again. Thank you, Jesus. The key to multiplication. Jeremiah 30 verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 9 Jeremiah chapter 30 Am I? 19 I'm sorry not 9 Jeremiah 30 verse 19 I'd like us to read together it's projected if your eyes can get to the projector screen let's read together one to read and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving 
and the voice of them that make merry and as a result what will happen i will who will do the multiplication i will multiply them and they shall not be few i will also glorify them and they shall not be small just because there is a voice of thanksgiving to say lord i have just one child now but i give you thanks not to say lord will i die like that with only girls in my house some of those culture driven antichrist mentality lord i give you thanks there are many women who are barren but you have been faithful i celebrate you for what you have done and the bible says i will multiply them the code in the spirit is thanksgiving don't trivialize what i'm sharing with you when you get to a door you don't cry when you get to a door you don't weep when you get to a door you use a key a giant door can be at the mercy of a little key you can put in your pocket but if that key is not there that door will not open forever the key for more could it be that there are people seated here brothers and sisters who God is ready to give surprises in the next 15 days but the the next dimension of God's grace is at the mercy it says out of them shall proceed thanksgiving not complaining you see why many nations never rise our economic theories are designed to complain we shout and say everything blame who is not doing what blame this a mother is blaming father father blaming mother children blaming everybody and while they are doing that god is looking with all the love in his heart is limited by our lack of understanding the principles of the kingdom lord at my age i'm earning forty thousand. Um, is that a testimony your name is being mocked and god says my god someone else that forty thousand is his prayer point is what he put as a benchmark The secret to multiplication is thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Number, number what? Number four. The fourth reason why we give thanks. According to Luke 17, please, 13 to 19. Is that it is also the secret to wholeness and perfection thanksgiving is the secret to wholeness and perfection write this down it is the last step in exercising your faith in your faith equation the last step is thanksgiving haven't engaged the word haven't spoken haven't obeyed the last step a man of God said this and I quote he said when you are trying to call God the last digit of his phone number is Thanksgiving like you press 080 are we together when you get to the last digit the very last digit is Thanksgiving And they lifted up their voices and said, Master, have mercy on us. The ten lepers, 14. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourself unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Look at me. They were cleansed, but not whole. To be cleansed means the leprosy left, but their hands were still showing. You could see leprosy on them. Are we together now? If you saw them, you tested them in the hospital, it would show that there was no more leprosy. But their fingers were still stunted. Their physical expression still showed that they once suffered leprosy. And the Bible says, and one of them, see how scarce the spirit of thanksgiving is? Only one out of every ten. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a with a whisper 
quietly and say, I don't want people to know the lesson. Uh -uh. The Bible says, with a loud voice, glorified God. Next verse. And fell down on his face at his feet. Doing what? Giving him thanks. And he was an unqualified person. A Samaritan. A Samaritan. Not a Jew. Next verse. And Jesus answering said, Were they not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Next verse. There are not found that return to give thanks. Save this stranger. 19. And he said unto him, Hallelujah. Arise. Go thy way. You have fulfilled the last step of the faith equation. And now your faith has made you whole. Your faith has made you whole. Are we together? Yeah. So you had the fibroid. They operated the fibroid and had to remove the womb. But you are alive. Yes, you are alive, but there's no more child again. Medically speaking. Is that true? The Bible says the woman returned and said, Lord, although they caught my womb and I'm alive, thank you. Take it to the next dimension. I give you praise. And then as she's giving praise and rejoicing, all of a sudden, the God who made womb before makes another one. And I'm standing here only because you made, you made a way. When our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over, you made a way and we're standing here only because you may listen there are many things in our lives that are not yet perfected and the key is although we have seen the miracle you came and you testified yes but many of us have stopped God from finishing you know how you build a house and God has a paint, has a wallpaper, has a finishing. And he said, Lord, I am so grateful. I mean, I'm so happy that I'm inside. And God says, do you know, if I show you the picture of this house, the, I'm, I'm still yet to paint and finish. How many of you know, those who do architecture and construction, that the things you use to finish the house can be more expensive than the whole building. So there is more compared to what you've seen. There is a bigger side to the miracle. You only saw a small piece of the pie. But we complain and grumble and compare ourselves. Were there not nine that returned? He says, go thy way. Your faith has perfected you. Your faith has perfected you. Philippians chapter 4, please, from verse 6 to 7. Still on the fourth reason. Philippians chapter 4, 6 and 7. Let's hurry up, please. 6 and 7. It says, be careful. The word be careful there doesn't mean be careless. It's the word anxiety. Be anxious for nothing, it says. But in everything, listen. Listen to how believers pray. By prayer... And supplication perfected with thanksgiving let your requests there is a spiritual formula for getting your request known it says when you bring the supplication and the prayer you give thanks let your request be known unto God then it says the peace of God which surpasseth all understanding shall keep garrison your minds through Christ Jesus. So when you pray, having made supplications, you know, let me tell you something. Please look at me. The, the principles of the kingdom sometimes will look so childish that in our matured world, our world of excessive adulthood and intelligence, 
we are unable to just submit ourselves to the childlike principles of the word of God that's why Jesus said you have to become like one of these little ones if you really want to inherit the kingdom if you want to walk in the experience of the kingdom you must lay this excessive um, um, this sense of adulthood we are not children here the Bible gives a very simple formula that when you make your requests add it with thanksgiving hallelujah The fifth reason why thanksgiving, number five. It is the secret to supernatural victories in the spirit. The secret to supernatural victories. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. I can tell you this from the authority of God's word, this ministry, and in my own life one of the cheapest ways to command victories over the powers and the forces of darkness is to properly and scripturally engage the mystery of thanksgiving very very powerful truth second chronicles 2 verse 22 to 24 second chronicles 2 22 to 24 and then we'll look at Psalm 92, 1 to 15, but we'll just look at 1 and 3, 10 and 15. Second Chronicles 2, verse 22 to 24. Sorry, Second Chronicles 20, verse 22 to 24. Media, are you with us? Second Chronicles 20. Thank you, 22 to 24. This was Jehoshaphat. Listen, the victory that was commanded. Listen. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set what? Ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, at Mount Seir, which were come against Judah and they were smitten. Look what happened. 23. Do you know while this was happening, the children of Israel were not seeing it. They were at the other side of the mountain giving thanks and saying you are good and your mercy endures forever. And then at the other side, God was commanding great victories. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped destroy imagine with me how the last two died everyone helped destroy another as if it was a charm you just fight your three of us plan to go and destroy pastor alpha we're tired of what god is doing in his life and we summon whatever arsenals we have and instead of him wasting his time on profitless things he engages thanksgiving and while he is doing that something is orchestrated makes me kill her and then i turn and we discuss who dies first she kills me and kills herself now i hope you know that these guys were warriors they were not children who were hungry they were trained soldiers you know how long it took for them to mobilize themselves and say let's come together as a threefold cord that cannot be easily broken and destroy Judah, the city of praise. And while all of that were happening, they listened to a prophet of God and he said, look, set the singers and the priests. Is that how you go to fight? You put men of war and then women and then children. That's how you fight war. But he says, this kind reminds me of psalm 149 it says let the high praise of god be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands right to bind their kings with the fetters of iron and to execute vengeance upon their nobles he said to to um, paraphrase it now to execute upon them the written judgment how the enemy will be defeated is none of your business your part is to engage obediently it says having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your own obedience is complete hallelujah 
this was perfectly adumbrated Ejimi, in the story of Esther and a wicked man called Mordecai are we together now yeah and uh, Haman I'm sorry Haman was plotting to annihilate the Jews and he leveraged on his influence with the king and while all of that conspiracy were going on news got to to Esther and instead of her to go and murmur and say am I your wife or not say am I, you are my wife say I, will they kill my people just that's how many women will complain Vashti did it she was out it will happen to anybody because we are all women in the spirit Vashti did it she was shown the way out but look look her you know why she excelled she listened to Mordecai the same way the church prospers if we listen to the Holy Spirit Mordecai was playing the position he started advising her right from scratch referred her to hey guy that's how she got to the palace she listened to Mordecai at a point in time she even wanted to be rebellious but she came back to her senses and then she went and met him and said oh king I want to flaunt your glory there's I, I want to let the people see how excellent you are king said go ahead and when she gathered all the people the king looked at her paraphrasing and said keep doing this thing every time do it again you see kings were stupid twice in scripture one when they took wine the other one during their birthdays there was a kind of dance that kings received that they did not seek advice kings were wise people they used divination to make judgments so when a king vetoes all the astrologers a lady danced her way to remove the head of a prophet a prophet but a dance removed his head they were dead bodies falling to the earth and none escaped someone here is giving god thanks and you will go back and see a rearrangement that's not how you left things that's not how you left things you left bills you left sickness you left all kinds of things but while you were engaging the mystery somebody is being forced to wake up from his sleep and saying how long will you keep disobeying me you must bless my daughter here's her account number see it in a dream zero zero two five seven one you are dancing here I know some of you don't believe these things happen you see there's a way you disobey God so much that you don't even know that certain possibilities exist when Samuel prophesied to Saul he said on your way going it will coincide with two men all of them holding loaves they will salute you and give you as if they don't know what to do with it that's what happens when the light of God shines upon you men will bless you for reasons they cannot explain that's how pharaoh blessed the nation of israel it was like a charm that's why when they left he said what did i do something was at work release through thanksgiving when they conquered the nation of israel and drowned them miriam raised up a song i will sing unto the lord she said for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his rider have been thrown into the sea God said you are ready for the next level when they murmured they were in trouble are we together now very quickly let me give us three biblical ways to show gratitude three biblical ways to show gratitude Number one, we'll look at a few scriptures. Psalm 22 verse 22, the A part, and then Psalm 96 verse 3. The first way to show gratitude is through testimonies. Testimonies. Testimonies are a way to demonstrate thanksgiving and gratitude. Read with me please, the A part. One to go. I will declare thy name unto my brethren i will declare it i won't be silent 
God has been good to me. I won't be silent and say, let them not say I have a, I'm, I'm bragging too much. It's not a lie. He was good to me. He is good to me and I still want him to continue to be. So I engage thanksgiving. You know, sometimes we allow people's cynical attitude make us guilty to sincerely express the goodness of God. How many people are afraid to say what God has done in their lives? Because there are all kinds of people with wicked hearts. The moment you say, I was sitting down, someone just brought the car keys of a house. So where is the house? Show us the picture. There are all these liars who just come and speak. You know, people are, the, the system of Babylon has trained people to hate the joy of others. They may be sincere people. You just watch someone buy a suit that he couldn't have afforded before. And he said, be careful though. It's only God that knows what everybody is. Why must you be cynical? Testimonies are powerful. Provided they are communicated with a sincere heart. When your motive is to come and waste time and make noise, then that does not glorify God. But when God has done good things in your life, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, you perfect every happening and the dealing of God in your life through testimonies. Psalm 96 verse 3. Quickly please. Psalm 96 verse 3. It says, Declare His glory among the hidden, His wonders among all people. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. When you stand to testify, it's not pride. You're not bragging. Provided you don't tell lies and you don't behave childish. You come before the people of God. Look, look what God has done for me. I didn't expect that I would be eating right now. But look at what God has done. Look at the faithfulness of God. And the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Meaning it has capacity to impart faith and reproduce itself. So when someone is listening to you and seeing, let your light so shine before men that they may see. And then through it, give your father glory. The moment you hear the testimony of someone, cancer, HIV, whatever, and then healed supernaturally by the power of God, you now sit down and see how you have been insulting God simply because you have a breast lung. And you say, no, 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 no. But it, it, I mean, if someone was healed of A, B, C, D, all at once, my God is faithful. And you lift up their spirit. Testimonies are powerful, brothers and sisters. There are many people who receive so much from God but refuse when you were going through the challenges you told everybody including those who could not help you now that God brought a miracle he said no I, I'm, my nature is not to say anything I'm, I'm a quiet person by nature God does not just want you to keep quiet over what he has done how will they attest to the fact that he is faithful are we together now number two the second way to show thanksgiving is to sing praises write it don't wish praises don't recite praises the bible tells us how to praise god he said sing praises Turn your testimonies into songs. Turn your testimonies into melodies. Still Psalm 22, verse 22, the B part. And then we'll look at Psalm 28, verse 7. Please quickly, Psalm 22, verse 22, the B part. It says, in the midst of the congregation, I will... It is I will praise you in my room alone. I will praise you. I will sing. In the midst of the congregation... I will praise you. Psalm 28 verse 7. The Lord is my strength and shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. He said, therefore my heart greatly rejoiced and with, what is the tool of praise? With my, not just the song of worship team. There are times your gratitude will compose a song with my song will i praise him 
Psalm 105 verse 2. Let me give you a few scriptures to really help you there. Psalm 105 verse 2. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of his wondrous words. He says sing unto him. Bless his name. Sing unto him. Let him know you are so grateful you have converted your gratitude to a song. Two more scriptures. I found this and I think it was quite interesting. First Chronicles 16 verse 9. First Chronicles 16 verse 9. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Sing it one more time. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. sing unto him sing psalms talk of his wondrous works did i we've read that already psalm 69 69 verse 30 psalm 69 verse 30 psalm 69 verse 30 i will praise the name of god with a song i will magnify him with thanksgiving so you sing praises unto him number three the third scriptural way you express thanks and gratitude is through your seed through your giving through your seed through your giving psalms 116 verse 17 through your seed your giving sacrificial quality heartfelt giving not something you yourself cannot give yourself i will offer unto thee there is something called a sacrifice of thanksgiving and i will call upon your name a sacrifice of thanksgiving amos chapter 4 i found this scripture and it blessed me so much verse 5 amos chapter 4 and verse 5 it says an offer what a sacrifice of thanksgiving with living and proclaim and publish the free offerings for this like at you O ye children of Israel it's not possible for us to get CEV I wish we could get any other version a particular version put it in an excellent way but it says offer this one you are not singing offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and then it says publish a free will it says i also oh, no 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 verse you're making a mistake verse five media Well, it's the same thing, right? Just, just, it's okay. Just, just leave it. That's all right. Offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Do you know, let me tell you something. According to scripture, now, even in the New Testament, men prayed and they sacrificed. Two things that went hand in hand. Prayer and giving. Remember Cornelius, Acts chapter 10. God told two reasons why he attracted the presence of God. Number one, your giving. Number two, your prayers. The, the, the scripture we read before this says how that I will offer to you a sacrifice of thanksgiving, then I will call upon your name. Giving and prayer go hand in hand. But simply because we have listened to people who have insulted every man of God, written rubbish, junk journalism, publish every kind of nonsense to think 
that men of God are out to just manipulate people. And here and there, I know that you will find excesses here and there. But it still does not negate the fact that it's a principle. There is a dimension of your speaking that only your seed can speak. That you celebrate God and you thank Him for His faithfulness and bring out a seed. If it's not sacrificial, it's not a seed of thanksgiving. The Bible calls it a sacrifice of thanksgiving. I want to challenge everyone here. As God grants you grace before you finish this year, if not today, find a sacrifice of thanksgiving. In fact, frankly speaking, that is the standard way it should be done. You shouldn't just talk about it and say, wow, this is nice. I love you too much to not tell you the truth. Do you know, while I was studying this, already, I gave my own sacrifice before I came. And the interesting thing about me and God is, I don't choose what I like. You may not have faith for that now, but may God grant you grace to grow to a level where you allow God to decide everything, including your giving. He decided your wife, he decided your job, why not your money? <laughs> You see, the part you have not given God is where you will not get the best of Him. Hallelujah. Something dangerous happened to me this evening. Because while I was talking with the Lord and I said, Oh, I just felt it in my heart. I said, No, 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 no. The people of God, it's important to challenge them on that wise. And I just remembered, every true shepherd must lead the way. And I said, Okay, Lord, so what will you have me give? Very interesting, Jimmy. God did not tell me what to give. He told me what should be left in my account. This is like, this is like maybe 30 minutes before I came here. And off it went. Oh no, come on. It all belongs to you. Oh, oh, oh it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Oh. so I gave it with all joy thanksgiving two minutes accident will scatter your life they will use that money to bury you and fight over the change <laughs> are we together you leave it for a foolish person who has no discernment and wisdom. That was the frustration of Solomon. He said, I've worked so hard to build this. Now I would die and give it to an irresponsible son who didn't go through what I went through. He said, this is vanity. I'm cheated. I'm still rich, but I feel cheated because, I mean, how can I just give somebody who has no sense? Let me digress a bit and challenge you. Make him Lord of everything. Make him Lord of everything. It is foolish to surrender part and leave part. God does not need your money. He doesn't need your fame. Anything given to God is well taken care of. God is a good manager. Our fears and insecurities which are a sign through faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice. It takes faith to give. That you trust God. So through your seed. Let me give us one more. The fourth way that we give thanks is by continually seeking him and promoting his interest. First Chronicles 16 verse 11. By continually seeking him. By seeking him is not like he's, he's missing. Seeking him is simply a, a figurative expression to communicate your desire for the depth of more of him. I'm chasing after you no matter what I have to do I need you more and more Lord I'm chasing after you no matter what I have to do I need you more and more 16 verse 
what did I give you 11 not 12 seek the Lord and his strength it says seek his face continually not when the money now comes you know it's amazing how people seek God when they are trusting him for certain things we've dealt with this it has become an anthem that when your pursuit for God is tied to certain results when you get the result I'm seeking God because I want to twist his hand and force him to give me this lady to marry the day you marry her you set a goal and you achieved it that goal has been achieved there is no impetus to seek God again I'm seeking God because I want to be a millionaire right the moment you have a million naira or a million dollars or whatever that's the end of it you shouldn't seek him again why seek God when you have all the cars and houses why seek God when you have eight nine ten zeros in your account foolish people seek God for things foolish people not bad people foolish people seek God for things never seek God just for things Lord I am seeking you because if you are God you must give me this pure water no 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 no. don't try to twist his hand your heavenly father knows that you have need of these things he says for the Gentiles run after these things and your father knows that you have need of these things but you seek first his kingdom and his righteousness you see if you seek the kingdom of God the word righteousness there it's not just talking about righteous standing it means God God's modus operandi his principles you seek his kingdom his influence and you also seek to understand his principle in doing it you will find the keys that will cause other things to be added hallelujah don't seek God for things seek him and seek to promote his interest that's why we are called ambassadors a true ambassador is committed to promoting the interest of the nation he represents an ambassador does not have an agenda of his own if at any point an ambassador is found having an agenda of his own he's a rebel he's a rebel the bible calls us ambassadors god has an intention there is something he's doing and we must plunge our entire lives to see his purposes fulfilled brothers and sisters listen to me it is not only important that we bless God and thank him it is important that we praise him with understanding it is important that we thank him with understanding when you thank God in ignorance the power is released through knowledge not the motions knowledge the revelation that backs what you are doing so you can be dancing around and not know why you are dancing and sweat by his mercies and out of his love he will bless you but in his system everything that is not done with understanding is the same as not doing it so if I give without understanding is the same as not giving if I sing without understanding is the same as not singing don't just do things have the understanding that makes them powerful just like many people say in the name of Jesus rise up and walk it's not just speaking with understanding hallelujah God has been so faithful in my life in this ministry in our lives we will not only be disobedient we will be wicked if we are not lavish in expressing our gratitude to him not just by dancing but that you take your entire heart and put it on a tray and lift it up to him and say lord you deserve everything i was just thinking of the faithfulness and the mercies of god we have traveled this year like none other the deliverances of the lord you hear the testimony that the lady came to share their truck do you know do you know how easy it is to die when god is not protecting you you can have a boil on your neck and die because the devil takes advantage of anything that gives him entrance people just had headache my head my head the wife goes to soak 
towel and comes out and meets a dead man thanksgiving we trivialize a lot of things people crying recession things are not going well there are people i think it was eddie one time we we're going to kaduna and he told me that um, some neighbors or so were begging for rice i'm not saying begging you for money they come with a cup and say give me two or three or four cups my wife and my children are about dying but then the mercies of god some of us quarter to it finishing something happens again that was not even tied to your tithing because some of us have not been faithful at all yet his mercies you know when you know the mercies of god you will really love him you will really really love him brothers and sisters in the next two or three minutes we are going to rise up and i want us to so lavishly worship him and thank him just two or three minutes and then i'll just speak over our lives if we miss out i know you have danced you have jumped around but right now i want you to just reflect in one minute on the faithfulness the goodness the kindness It's grace, your grace. Lord, I'm nothing without you. Grace, your grace shines on me. Shabarato Kabariada. Your grace, your grace. I'm nothing without you. Grace, your grace shines on me. Sujana nena ke. Sujana, Sujana. Godia nena ke. Godia, Godia. Sujana nena ke. Godia nena ke Godia Godia Suchada nena ke Suchada eh Godia nena ke Godia Godia Suchada nena ke Suchada Suchada Godia nena ke Godia Godia Suchada nena ke Godia nena ke Godia Godia Na gode Na gode Na gode Na gode Na gode Ya Yesu na gode Na gode Na gode Na gode Na gode
Majesty, Your 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 Majesty, voice and begin to count your blessings Lord I was in front of that car it would have killed me I know it was not my faith but your message I watch you raise school fees for me in a way and manner I saw that course waved are you ready to worship him count your blessings koinonia for the job you gave me you changed my financial status this year you opened my eyes and gave me understanding i got born again this year I got filled with the Holy Ghost this year. I understood the word of God this year. For multiplied grace. For uncommon influence. Pray. Tell him thank you. My father and my mother came back this year. They were at the verge of the force, but by your grace you stepped in. Worship him. Jesus, I say thank you. I never had any plane crash. car accident you gave me a new house this year you gave me accurate knowledge oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. victory belongs to Jesus Victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus over my life. 
I watch the power of witchcraft broken. Oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Jesus, sing it from the depth of your heart. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. Jesus. For the next two minutes, we are going to thank God as a family. We have seen the hand of God in mysterious ways this year miracles upon miracles change lives men and women here bodily entered into dimensions in the spirit lift your voice and thank god for koinonia for victory for victory for influence for grace ha. Victory belongs to Him. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. You know, brothers and sisters, time will fail me to begin to tell you the things that God has done for us as a ministry. Influence, favor, access, multiplication of grace. When the media department was submitting a progress report preparing for the dinner, one of the most touching testimonies is that as far as the moment any teaching is uploaded online an average of 1 million downloads within the first 24 hours no publicity no sir if I by the finger of God brothers and sisters we have seen answered prayers it was here you dropped the request Yet the answer was waiting for you at home. And you saw miracles. People transformed by the hand of God. I don't know about you. But brothers and sisters help me. Thank this God in one minute. And say Lord thank you. Epochal teachings that have come. The mysteries of the kingdom building men and women some of you have seen your lives changed you've seen the anointing at work in your life mighty dimensions of grace thank you Jesus hallelujah one last prayer point I want you to thank God for your family. I know some of them are not here on their behalf. If you ever lie to me and say you did not see his hand this year, you will not be fair. You know what January was. You know what December is right now. Lift your voice and say, Father, thank you. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, mighty God, mighty God, thank you for our families, many God born again this year, many God filled with the Holy Spirit, many found direction for their lives. The words you Around. Help me.
the God of awesome wonders. I praise it of your power. Oh, Nisha, oh, Nisha. You have shown me so much mercy. Much more than I deserve. Hallelujah. I'd like you in advance to thank him for the balance of the year into 2017 because you must get there. Don't ask. Don't ask. Lift your voice and say, Lord, I thank you. Your promises are yea and amen. And I say thank you. No devil will stop my eyes from seeing it. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise in advance that sickness will not go with me to 2017 I give you praise are you giving him praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have given God praise. I want to release something upon your life that you will take back home. For when you give him praise, you provoke a dimension of his glory. You provoke a dimension of his grace. I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. You have given thanks. It's time for you to carry the anointing and the grace that will help you finish. So that you don't go home crying again. You go as an ambassador. Listen. Listen. On Tuesday, I had a great time in the prayer department. Inside, outside, any of the overflows. I want you to be very sensitive now. I want to pray for you. The prayer department, I had a great time with them. And one of the things I shared with them, listen, is that the level of grace and unction you carry defines your possibilities in this kingdom. Not just the name of Jesus. Listen, please. Our possibilities are defined by the level and the kind of unction that is at work in our lives. Are we together now? Mm. Hundred dollars and hundred naira are all the same denominations, but not the same value. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Every challenge you face that is lower than the level of the grace and unction you carry will be solved. But every challenge you face that is higher than the level of grace and unction you carry will not be solved. Scripturally, you will see that it should be solved. But the dynamics of bringing the result to your life is that you must upgrade through understanding and impartation to a level that will afford God to release the possibilities at the level that you desire. Are we together now? Our lives are limited by the level of grace and unction that we carry. From January to December, God has been faithful over our lives. Some of you now are going home. There are all kinds of yokes of darkness waiting to mock God like they did last year. But you are going back with an unction. So that what could not happen last year. I want you to believe what I'm telling you. Our possibilities. There are some of you, if you do not introduce the anointing you are about to receive in your family, they will not celebrate Christmas well because there are orchestrations of hell but for your presence and so you appear there and introduce a mystery that disarms principalities and powers your understanding and the anointing are the keys you need to command victory your understanding 
and the anointing not just the anointing not just your understanding they work together like your left and right hand so an anointed life with a wrong paradigm will limit its operation a healthy paradigm with no anointing will stimulate the the expectation of possibilities that may never happen you need both a renewed mind which you have received all through this year please i'd like you to pray one minute with your heart open and say lord i desire this grace let let it come upon my life and make the difference the difference i have given you praise please pray hallelujah hallelujah i will speak over everyone but let me just pray for the heads of department just the heads of departments and the maybe the ministers please quickly quickly just in one minute i feel like doing that for them and then i'll just pray for everybody at grace There is an unction from the Holy One. They have walked in measures of grace. Join them, Pastor Alpha. Femi, join them. Promise, join them. Father, you have honored this house. You have brought grace upon us. Lord, I pray that the leaders will carry strange levels of grace. Please believe what is coming on you. Don't trivialize it. I will pray for you. Strange grace. Grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. 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 In the name of Jesus. For the next level from your spirit man in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ strange grace strange grace by the power of the Holy Ghost fire strange grace 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 for the next level in the name of Jesus Christ fresh grace fresh grace fresh grace fresh grace for the next level lift your hands please everyone lift your hands in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing smoke and it's coming on people the Lord is saying this is a prophetic grace Lord I release my hands right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now take it I place it upon your spirit Receive that grace, prophetic grace, privy to insights in the spirit, privy to insights in the spirit. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. I want to pray a prayer that everyone should release. There is a grace that releases the creative power of the word of God not the revelatory power revelation informs creation makes if I tell you God said this will happen listen I want you to believe me I'm about to release something on your life that when you speak there is a kind of unction that can leave your words and create realities not inform people it will happen I stand in the name of Jesus under this apostolic and prophetic anointing father inside and outside let men be baptized into this realm of reality receive that baptism right now creative dimensions creative dimensions inside outside receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus 
receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus it's not just speaking there is a level of grace I want to pray for you God has shown me favor this year in my life in a way and a dimension that I can only give him glory father I pray that Esther anointing that causes men to arise mysteriously in the name of Jesus take that anointing to your homes take it in your life Papa, take it, take it. You can't stand it. It must come upon you. It will land upon your spirit, man. That Esther anointing. That Esther anointing. Help them, please. Please help that lady somewhere. In the name of Jesus. Aaron, that anointing is coming on your wife. An angel of the Lord is pouring that oil upon your wife. It's a new season of favor. A strange season of favor. A strange season of favor. A strange season of favor. I hear my spirit restoration. 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 The mantle is falling. Restoration. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Restoration inside and outside. I don't care what has left you. Help that mother please. Restoration of gifts. Restoration of dimensions. Restoration of levels in the spirit you once carried that have left you. I release that grace on you right now. Strange restoration. A level of wisdom that you have never seen in your life illumination by the spirit to know what to do part time wisdom manifesting as divine direction ay, 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 ay. divine strategies receive it right now in the name of Jesus know what to do I command your spirit to know what to do by the illumination of the word of God I put the word of God upon your spirit and I command access to light access to illumination every prophetic word that came upon your life in January and is yet to find expression in the name of the Lord God of heavens between now and 31st December let there be a performance a strange performance a strange performance a strange performance Yeah, check it yes, now. Yes. Is there any pain? No, sir. Anywhere. Do what you couldn't do before. It's gone right now. Completely gone. I cannot pray this place. And if I lie down smart, I can't sleep. I have to. Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. I lay my hands upon you and I take away this curse of darkness upon your life. Leave her right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ, to open up the doors of the prison to them that are bound. I declare that this bondage comes to an end and I call your helpers into your life right now. I call your helpers into your life. Hold my hands. Your prayers has been answered. The Lord is going to anoint you right now. An anointing will come upon your life and you will step into a new dimension of grace. Lord, use him for your glory. Let him never be the same. Never, ever be the same. Eyes to see, ears to hear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eyes to see, ears to hear. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. Eyes to see and ears to hear. Come, let me pray for the remaining. In the name of the Lord Jesus. He does not have problem. What you were delivered from is what is making him behave that way. There's nothing wrong with the boy. It's not, it's, you know, it's not because he's stubborn and he's disobeying you. It's not just about it's, it's not just about stealing now. Is it not to pick steal your money? Uh, is that not what you are talking yes, about? Sir. Yes, what sir. was in him is what you have been delivered from because that's where it came from. It's Amen. not the boy. The boy Amen. is not a thief. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Out! Thank you, Jesus Christ. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. Verse 1. Are you there? Say amen. Allow Mike. Allow Mike. Where are you? You are praying right now and asking the Lord for a visitation. Please come quickly. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. The Lord is saying, For I'm raising you as a savior to your family. I'm raising you as a savior to your family. Though the battle be fierce. But there is grace for you. Though the battle be fierce. But there is grace for you. The weakness and the limitation in your life. The Lord is taking away from you right now. There is a circumcision that will bring you power. In the name of Jesus. I see an angel of the Lord standing close to you. And pouring oil upon your head. That's what is coming upon you right now. Oil upon your head. The oil that makes you a warrior. The oil that makes you triumphant. In the name of Jesus. Shake everything that is not of the kingdom out of his life. Shake everything that is not of the kingdom out of his life. And let all that is left in him be that which is divine. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace, grace, grace. Let's just flow. I know there are many grace. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Not everybody. Come, that lady. Is your name Grace? Come, run. You're the one I'm talking about. A limitation is being taken away from your life right now as I speak. The Lord is, I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing the Lord remove something from your body now. It's a limitation so that it does not destroy you. Lord, let it leave her now. In the name of Jesus, let it leave her right now. Now. It's like a cutting away. That's what I see in the spirit. Gabriel, 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 you are wearing blue, something like a kaftan, a kaftan or something, blue. Gabriel. You came alone? Come, from where? Kaduna, all the way. Yes, sir. What do you do? I'm a copper. You are a copper. Yes, sir. The Lord says I should tell you it's not by power, not by might, not by power, but it's by my spirit. 
Because the Lord is going to use you to end a lot of hardship in your family. You believe that? What did you study? Mass communication. Where do you think you are going to work? TVC. What? TVC. What's TVC? It's a TV station. You, you think so? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Not sure. They promise you a job? No. Prepare for a bank. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, even as you have shown me, let this come to pass by the anointing of the Spirit of God right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you have an elder sister? I'm seeing an elder person, a lady. Nobody like that stayed no, with you? I'm the first child. No, I'm not. An elder sister it may not necessarily be biological because God wants to speak to. I'm seeing a lady standing. Whatever it is, I ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because that person who is standing, I'm seeing that is marriage issue. Ma huh? My auntie. That's what I'm telling you. That she I'm brought me a lady. up. She's the one that brought you up. Yes, That's why I'm saying, do you have an elder sister? She's not married now. She's married to a Muslim. Mm -mm. Is that a marriage? Was, was that marriage? No. Do you call that marriage? She has issues right now. Eh? She has a lot of issues. I'm not marriage. even talking about it. She has issues. What do you understand by marriage? Do I just come and stay in your house and then I say I am married? That's not marriage. Huh? And that thing is, is, is demonic. Huh? She yes. needs to be delivered. Marriage issues. Father, in the name of Jesus, you reveal this. Open her eyes. In the name of Jesus. Open her eyes and set the family free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Deborah. 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 Please let's just let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. No, Deborah ushers. Ushers. Deborah ushers. She's if she's outside, call her to come in, please. The Lord is saying that it's time for him to wipe the tears of your family. This is what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. Is your brother here? He's not here. Who is here from your family? Nobody. You are not sure. Huh? Our father is outside. Please, can he come? The Lord wants to put an end to the captivity in this family. He's wearing white, white, white kaftan, white kaftan. Daddy, God bless you, sir. I want to pray for you, sir, so that the devil will not put stroke in your body. Stroke. Because I'm seeing this side. And I'm seeing it affected. And then eventually you will not be able to lift your hand and your legs. And the Lord is saying he's bringing an end to captivity in this family. Stretch your hands and let's pray for them. In the name of Jesus. Father, step into this family right now. Let me tell you, it doesn't take time. In a minute, God can wipe the tears of a family. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Let me pray for you, Daddy. I curse every spirit of infirmity. And I set you free, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Every limitation in your academics is rolled away now. Every limitation in your academic is rolled away now. Every limitation in your academic is rolled away right now. I'm seeing a woman. You came here. You are wearing glasses. You wore a traditional attire. You are a woman. You are fair. You are wearing glasses. Glasses. Is there someone like that, please? No, 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 no. I mean, there's, there's a woman. This is a, a married woman. You're wearing glasses. Is there someone like that, please? The Lord is revealing this to me. A married woman. Where is it? You're wearing glasses. Huh? Where are the glasses?
please begin to pray tell the Lord to visit you and visit your family this is why we're here tonight please pray please please pray from the depth of your heart there is there is a lady um, one of these ladies of incomparable, incomparable, very fair. You are light skinned. I don't know her name. They used to come and greet me sometimes. Very fair, light skinned, incomparable. This incomparable beauty crew. Where are they? Come now. The Lord wants to end captivity in your family. Mama, the Lord is telling me that I should tell you that he will reward you greatly. He will reward you greatly. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. He will reward you. I need to pray for you. Your family is under serious demonic attack. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Where are you from? Benway State, sir. Eh? Benway State. Benway State, come. This is, this is the spirit of death. No, no, step down. This is the spirit of death and we must pray and take authority over it father i curse that spirit now go by the power of the holy spirit on your life and that of your family members in the name that is above all names i command that attack to come to an end and god wants a deeper relation look at me god wants a deeper relationship with you he says i should tell you that you need to give him time and you need to commit yourself passionately to the things of God. Yes. Mama, let me pray for you. It's not just because of old age. Your eye issue is not just because of old age. This is a demonic thing. That's why God identified you even with the glasses. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone came from Kano. 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 Someone came in from Kano. You're the only person from Kano. Kano. This is a family. Oh, this is not just one person I'm talking about. Please. Ah, this is a family. You are not the only one that came. In the name of Jesus, Mama, I pray for you. That the God of heaven. Do you have a daughter, Mama? Where is she? She's in Abuja. She's in Abuja? Yes. Is she married? Yes. I have two daughters. The first one. The first one, she's married. Have you heard from her? Yes. She's doing well. She's fine. You think so? But she's looking for a job. We have to pray for her okay. because I'm seeing a problem with her marriage. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let Mama have no reason to cry because of what is happening to her children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, the Lord is renewing your strength. The back pain you used to have in the morning is gone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kano, is there a family that came from Kano? A family. I know individuals came, but is there at least more than one person? Because this I'm seeing like a family. All of you came from Kano. I don't mean you are based there. You traveled from there to here. Well, I'll pray for you, but this is, I'm seeing a family. This word is for a family. This word is for a family. This word is for a family. But let me pray for you. Come. We have to pray. Look at me. That, so that the devil will not kill your potentials. I'm seeing books and I'm seeing a spirit sitting on it. This is what I'm seeing. Books. And I'm seeing a spirit sitting on it. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. I declare the opening of the gates of destiny for you. See, let me tell you tonight. If things are not going right, don't pretend they are going right. Fight it out here. We are, going, are you getting what I'm saying? Please. This is why God prepared this meeting. Don't come and waste your time. The Lord specifically kept speaking to me 
that tonight is dedicated for families. No matter how you are doing well, if your family is not doing well, you are not fine. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So don't let anybody just distract you and make it look like you are wasting your time. Hallelujah. Ella, come, let me pray for you so that your mother will not be told that she's sick. Lord, I destroy any yoke of sickness over her mom's life in the name of Jesus. This lady, you that tied something forward. No, no, no. This one, yes. Come, 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 come. Just let me pray for you. Is it Gozier or Chi Gozier? Something that has, it's like an evil name. It has Gozier in it. I know there's I.E. Gozier or something like that. Is there anyone like that? Whether, I don't know if it's your name or son name or something. But I'm saying a Gozier. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. And he's saying he's bringing restoration to your family. In the name of Jesus. He's bringing restoration to your family. He's bringing restoration to your family. What's your name? Eh? Anosie. Yes. Okay, I saw something. Busy. Okay, come, let me pray for you. Where are you coming from? Mina. Mina. Yes. All the way from Mina. Yes. What do you do? I'm a master student. Mm. Let me pray for you. There are doors that the Lord wants to open for you. But it will have to be by prophecy. You will not just open like that. Father, let those doors be open right now. By the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that those doors of limitations are open right now for you. In the name of Jesus. Jennifer. Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. 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 Is that your name? You are Jennifer. No. This is not just this Jennifer. I will talk to you, but Jenny, anybody, other person with the name Jennifer? You are Jennifer. Who else is Jennifer? Not a name you know alone. A name that everybody knows you as Jennifer. Please don't just stand up and come carelessly. Think about what we're saying. Who is Je You're all Jennifer. Who is from Kaduna? You're from Kaduna. I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, lay your hands on your stomach. There will be no death in your families. The sound of death will not be heard. Out! That devil of death. You will leave her family right now. Because I'm seeing that there would have been a lamentation. August 7th. But in the name of Jesus we cancel it. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. There will be no death. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you? The Lord is bringing healing healing to somebody in your family healing to someone in your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ your mother is from Kaduna your mom is from Kaduna who is from Kataf, Zango Kataf your mother is from Zango Kataf let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ Father I pray that the limitation over this family be lifted right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Adam, is it Adamu? Adamu? There is Adamu. I don't know if it's your name. Son name Adamu. Adamu. Your name is Adamu. Your son name. Yes, Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are Kogi State. Kogi State. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from yes. now? A mantle. A mantle. You love God very well. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. If God tells you he wants to use you, will you allow him to use you? Yes, sir.
because there are so many things God wants to do in and through your life. I hear my spirit, the rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord says I should tell you that I will do mighty things in and through you. For the stone that was rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord brings a visitation to your life. You will go through series of spiritual experiences. Father, let there be a birthing. Hold my hands. Change him, oh God. The first thing that will happen to you is a circumcision. The pruning of the old. I cast the spirit that stops you from walking with God. Let it leave now. For he will not pour new wine in an old wine skin. I curse that spirit. Give way for the king to come into his life. Please bring him up. Lord, let the prophetic teaching anointing come upon him. Make him a mighty man. Put a hunger and a desire in his heart for your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Outside, there is somebody I want to speak to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord outside towards the extreme back. The power of God is going to come upon one person there mightily. Please let the ushers bring the person. I need to speak to the person. Outside, towards the back, towards the end part, the power of God will come mightily and strong upon one person there. For I will make you like Deborah, said the Spirit of God. I will make you a mighty warrior, said the Spirit of God. Today I lift away from your life the distractions. Distractions. The Lord is taking away distractions from your life. Distractions. Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. So let us therefore lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and run with perseverance the race hallelujah stand behind her i'm seeing the power of god coming on her i don't know what it is for but the anointing of the spirit is coming strong upon her there is something god is taking out of her family no the usher not even the lady you usher god is taking away something out of your life Hallelujah. Emmanuel, come. The Lord is lifting darkness from your family. The 
Lord is lifting darkness from your family. Darkness from your family. It must roll away now. It's lifting darkness from your family. Amaka and Adora, come. Come quickly, quickly. The Spirit of the Lord says, I should tell you the feast of new things. The feast of new things. Hold hands together. The feast of new things. The feast of new things. The feast of new things. Ah, He will wipe away that which is of the old. And he will bring you into the new. The Lord says, I should tell you the feast of new things. I am doing a feast of new things. Bringing into your life. A feast of new things. A feast of new things. The anointing of the Spirit will make this happen. Let it flow to you right now. And change you. Change you. Change you. Change you. Your father is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Please, where is the person? In Zaria here, not outside of Zaria. A police officer in Zaria here. the Lord with all your heart and the Lord will use you but there are many things that need to be pruned there are distractions in your life distractions your name is Emmanuel and it means God is with you there are distractions little things sway you your life is too emotional to walk with God. You need stability. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I impart upon you strength in your spirit, man. Strength. Take it now. The strength of the spirit. It will come upon you strongly. I've laid hands on you. You will never be able to be weak and dwindle around again. Nesitila, come. Quickly. There are weights that must be broken. The Spirit of God says, weights. Weights, they must be broken. Weights. They must be broken. Cares and weights and worries. Cast your cares before the Lord. Because the Lord wants to do great things in your life. But there are weights. Wait, wait. There are weights. Oh God, may those weights give way right now. In the name of Jesus. Ken, an angel is standing close to you. And I'm seeing oil being poured upon you. And the Lord is saying, Again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Lord, let that oil be poured upon him for his family. The Lord is saying, again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. That's what the Lord is saying. Again, I will visit your family. And this time around, it will be with power. Again, I will visit your family. My dear, may the Lord anoint you. It's an anointing that is coming upon you. May the Lord anoint you. You are weak in the spirit. I strengthen you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit.
you gave me a brand new song to sing to you that's why i will lift up my voice and sing yeah 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 Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord is giving you beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. And a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. What's wrong with him? Help her with the mic. No mic. What's wrong with him? Huh? SS. SS. This is not the situation. I'll pray for him, but in fact, this this is a baby it's not even somebody as old as this this is somebody within the age range of maybe a small child that is sick i don't know if it's inside or outside the lord wants to heal that person go dear go dear go dear Come, your breakthrough has come. Yeah, yeah. Where are you coming from? Samaru. You believe Jesus will touch you right now? You believe that? Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. And other things. You know what I'm talking about, right? Listen, you have to give God everything. Everything. I'm not talking of born again. Everything. Total surrender. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's no one leg in, one leg out. It has to be completely all for him. Hold my hands and let me pray for you. You all good, yeah? I'll pray for you. Will you let her go now in the name of Jesus? I see you in the spirit. You will let her go now. I'm speaking to this other lady. Don't worry, she may not be looking at me. I'm not talking to her. Release her family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cause darkness. I cause darkness over the family. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. From every power that is not of God. Madam. Will, there will be a prayer session and I'll pray for your son. But let me just lay hands on him since you came out. Someone had a dream this morning. You saw me laying hands on you just this morning. Early this morning. I know people have this kind of dream, but someone specifically had that dream this morning. Father, heal this boy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. Very much. He will do mighty things through your life. Just be patient. Huh? Now is not the time of manifestation. Now is the time of building. But it is true that he will do mighty things through your life. Hold my hands. 
Father, do to her what she saw in the dream. In the name of Jesus. It will do something to your spirit. It's an awakening that is happening to you. the chains of limitation over you now. I cast those chains. I set them on fire. In the name that is above all names. May those chains be broken. And I separate you from error. There is a spirit of error that can come with zeal when it is misdirected. I separate you from error. You will be circumspect and you will only be accurate. In the name of Jesus. Where is Isaac in Oshrin? Is he around? It's time for you to step into a new level. The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing like a surgery being done on you. There is something that so badly keeps you from rising to the next level. And the Lord says, it's time I prune it. It's a desire. It's an appetite that he's killing because it does not come from him wants to do mighty things. Hold my hands. Kill that appetite, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let that leave. Everything that does not name the name of Christ may it leave. Come. This gentleman, you, it's time to respond to the dream you had. Come. These are wicked forces of darkness. Tying your life and your destiny down with delay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of God. That demonic dream and the experience that, had, that you had there, let it never return again. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever gives them legal access to your life is sealed and broken by the blood. last person and then we'll just come my dear this lady no yes come you now yes let no man despise you for out of you will come a treasure let no one despise you. Let no one despise you. For out of you will come a treasure. The Lord says, I should tell you, there is this treasure that is hidden in earthen vessels. That the excellency, the power may be of God and not of God. Come, hold my hands. There is a fragrance that is coming upon your life from today. That will make you uncommon. Uncommon. Distinguished. For you love the Lord with your whole heart. You love the Lord with your whole heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that makes men despise, I curse it. I curse it. Hallelujah. Wow. Acts chapter 3. to your neighbor and say, are you still here? I just want to charge us a bit. Welcome everybody, all those who came from far and near. Honor you. Glad to have you here. You will never be the same. Now, Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from birth was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple who seen Peter and John follow me closely about to go into the temple asked an arm 
And Peter fastened, fastening his eyes upon him with John said, look on us. And this is the key verse, verse 5. Let's read together. One to read. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something. Expecting to receive something. When he said, look on us, they paid attention because they were expecting that they were going to receive something. As I began to pray and say, Lord, what would I share with your people? The Lord said, the only thing I need from them is expectation. Expectation. Expectation is a proof of faith. Expectation is a proof that you trust God. Hallelujah. If you, if you tell me you are hungry and I dip my hands in my pocket, automatically you begin to have a sign of expectation because you anticipate that I'm bringing out something. Is that true? And so you begin to position yourself to receive and say thank you. The only thing God is asking from you tonight is that you be expectant. Expect that sickness to leave your body. Expect that family captivity to come to an end. Expect the Lord to visit you. Expect to step into new levels of the anointing. Expect that no matter what the challenge is, the power of God can step into your life. It does not take time. It only takes the spirit of God. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is not, there is no liberty. I want you to know that the spirit of God is in this place tonight. And the only message the Lord asks me to communicate to you is that your heart be expectant expectant lord i expect to be healed i expect that you will wipe my tears i expect that this situation in my life will change at once i expect it i expect it do you believe do you expect that god will do something in your life god is already visiting people you do not imagine the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in to all of our meetings talk less of the miracle service so i want you to know that there is enough grace there is enough anointing hallelujah right away we'll begin to pray and i'll just be moving in the anointing and god will minister to us please and please let your heart be expectant that's the only message the lord asked me to give us tonight expectation expectation expect that that which you wrote in your prayer request will be answered expect that that which you came down see don't look at the situation just be expectant be expectant the greatest enemy to expectation is your past your history your track record of failure your track record of the seeming shortcomings of god so every time you expect you say but i prayed before but i fasted before It says forgetting the things that are behind forgetting what happened yesterday or what did not happen yesterday i press everyone say i press i press hallelujah rise up on your feet we're going to pray that's for two to five minutes that's the only message the lord asked me to bring to us tonight expectation let there be a a depth of expectation in your heart Lift your voice and cry to God and say, Lord, I am expectant. Pray. Lord, as your power moves. And as your spirit is touching men, I am expectant. I came with a hunger. I came for a touch. I came for an encounter. I came with an expectation.
Hallelujah. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says, I should tell you, He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 He's opening you up to strange wisdom. Wisdom. That's what you are receiving. Wisdom. Strong wisdom. He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. That's what you need for the next level of your life. Wisdom. Tremendous wisdom. The wisdom of the Spirit. The wisdom of the Spirit. The wisdom of the Spirit. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. Lord, I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him. Strange order of wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wisdom in your decisions. Dimensions of wisdom that you have never seen before. You will make decisions that will accelerate your life. Accelerate ministry. Hallelujah. In one minute, mention everything you came with as a challenge. And say, Lord, the time has come for your grace and your power. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place, Shalom, Shalom, my father, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom, shalom, Jehovah, shalom, shalom. You're welcome in this place. One more time. Shalom, yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. We're starting tonight with individuals that God is giving them breakthroughs. Every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the Spirit. At the count of three just those individuals one two three now now take it take it take it take it now that break my anointing i release it right now right now right now right now all the ones separated for breakthroughs right now inside and outside i release that breakthrough anointing that breakthrough anointing Right now, that breakthrough anointing right now. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. It comes 
like a mighty rushing wind the breakthrough anointing the breakthrough unction enough of that level enough of that dimension I speak it I declare it I prophesy it and I release it take it from your belly out of your belly let it gush like living waters out of your belly that breaker anointing in the name of Jesus out of your belly that breaker anointing breakthroughs 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 I end the struggle I end the struggle I end the struggle by the breakthrough anointing I end the struggle right now I end the struggle right now all over the building I end the struggle right now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hands on your stomach. Just lay your hands on your stomach. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. He said, for out of your belly, something will happen to some people right now. Out of your belly. Just keep your hands there. Father, in the name of Jesus, where are the ones you are separating? Spiritual breakthroughs. Right now. Right now. And right now, from your belly. From your belly. From your belly. From your belly. In the name of Jesus. Out of your belly. Let it flow. Let it flow. Living waters. Living waters. Living waters. New dimensions. Living waters. Skatata kapata. Rekete tekete. Bekata taboskata. Embrata kata. Shekete lekes. From your innermost being. From your innermost being. From your innermost being. From your innermost being. A busting thought of new wine. A busting thought of new wine. A busting thought of new wine. A busting thought. Hallelujah. 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 Sabarada balada bakadia. There are people here right now. Listen. You came here because you are confused. There is no direction. You are trusting God for direction. You have prayed but there is nothing to do. You need direction desperately. Lift your hands. Lord, I pray wherever they are right now, by the light of the Spirit, my Father locates them. Receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. Marital direction. Academic direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. By the light of God. By the illumination of the spirit. Direction. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice saying this is the way you will hear that voice saying this is the strategy you will hear that voice hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The Lord wants to destroy marital delay. This is what is happening right now. Marital, just keep your hands. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are people here who God wants to release them into their marital destiny. But there are horns and powers that has kept them down. You may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that but the enemy has done this. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. I release you right now. I release you. I release your family. I release your sisters. That power that has held your marital destiny. Hear the voice of the Lord. That power that has stopped marriage in your family. I speak in the name of Jesus. Be loose right now. 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 Hallelujah. Now, lift your hands. I'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit. And so I know the Lord wants me to destroy barrenness. 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 There is someone who came here with that situation. I don't know if it's a couple or somebody. You are expecting a miracle desperately. Let me have that one person come out. I'm going to pray for everybody right now, but we need to break that yoke right now. We need to break that yoke right now. There are families tied down. There are families tied down. When you identify that person, the person can come out. Lift your hands. Let me pray. No, the Lord wants the family to come out first. Come out first. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courage and she packed her things and she left. We were married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no child. with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Look at how the devil steps in to destroy families. Eight years and he's leaving because there is no child. But are you still in touch? Well, the church tried to call her. She didn't answer. So I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? Friend, come. I need to pray for you. May God bless you. Let's celebrate the friend. Hallelujah. These are the kind of useful and relevant friends that God should bring in your life. Friend, where are you? May God bless you. You are a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough. do you believe your wife will come back yes sir you want her back yes i'm going to pray for you your wife will return back Amen. forget about what has happened god will give you two boys two girls Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. You are a good man and you love God. Not only that, what do you do? I 
I work in an electronics company, Samsung. So when we had this issue of this marriage, they have to let go of me. But I have my own personal business in Kaduna, which I, know. I God established. Is helping you. Yes, this marriage has destroyed too many things in your life. You've lost money. You've lost a lot of people. Even cars. Because, because I'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed. What is like? Things are going down. The Lord is going to restore you. Do you believe that? You believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined, the Bible says, let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your destiny right now. In the name of Jesus. I call forth your wife into your life. And I open the fountains of fruitfulness. The Lord showed me two boys, two girls. And I release them to your life. This power that has tied you down and tied your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that it is released right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm holding your hands, and with these hands, may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will restore your fortune and He will bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, friend, come. Where are you from? Kaduna, too. Ka Zaria. Yeah. Zaria, here. Yeah. You came alone? Yes. No, I came with a friend. What would you want the Lord to do in your life? Marital breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. Yes. What does that mean? Marriage or health in your marriage? Marriage. Marriage. When? This year. You believe it? Yes. Or you're just saying it? You have already spoken the word and it's happening. Let me pray for you. Father, you anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that before this year runs out, your husband comes to you and may you be happily married. You will marry a godly man. May you marry a blessed man. One who will love you and fear the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. Now lift your hands and let me pray. I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean unfruitfulness in any aspect. He says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine have refused to bear fruit in different areas. Others want to bear fruit but the enemy has stopped it. I pray for you right now. Every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness. Where are those people who barrenness have held their lives? Where are those people in the name of Jesus, let fire come upon you now. Let fire come upon you now. I destroy the hold of barrenness. Everywhere in this building, I break the chains of barrenness. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, can you lift your hands? Just this row. Just this row. Just keep your hands lifted. I see a wind blowing through this row. Barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. There is no hiding. Back to the front. There are many people in this row. I break it right now. I break it right now. Right now to the back. From the back to the front. 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 
in the name of Jesus Christ anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness right to the back in the name of Jesus be set free hallelujah now lift your hands I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils when the spiritual limitation is taken away then your life will move forward what will happen tonight is not just for you but for every family you represent so there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered not just for themselves but for their families and the families you represent lift your hands father in the name that is above all names i'm praying there are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives and lord it's time for them to go because this is mount zion now therefore i speak to every foul spirit every devil of darkness every yoke every territorial power that sits across territories i speak in the name of jesus by the authority of the lord jesus and i come under an apostolic anointing i bring every spirit under arrest and i command that you will live at the count of three now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus and they must leave you one two three second spirit husband every territorial power ancestral spirits that tie people and families come out now come out now come out now come out of god's people in the name of jesus bring them out in the name of jesus i cost those powers i cost those powers i cost those powers i cost those powers hallelujah lift your hands lift your hands i see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams make intercourse with them and destroy their lives keep those hands lifted lord where are those people let the sword of judgment find them now let the sword of judgment find them now sisters lift your hands a spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother because with one sister there are many people that can become victims not because of immorality or anything it's just the nature the compelling character of women I pray right now anyone here whether you know it or not that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of God I pray and stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let fire come upon that spirit now let fire come upon that spirit let fire come upon that spirit Hallelujah. Oh, 
Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is speaking to me that there are people here that start things but never finish. There are families that start things. You've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it. Lift your hands. The finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now. That grace to start and finish at the count of three is coming upon you for your destiny. Coming upon you for your family. Receive it right now. One, two, three. The finisher's anointing breaking the course of delay. The finisher's anointing breaking the yoke of delay. Projects that have refused to finish. Projects that have refused to finish. Hallelujah. I hear the chains falling. Yeah. I hear the chains falling. Yeah. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. Now, for all those who came with sick people, you can march to the front now for prayer. Inside and outside. It's time to pray for the sick. Instrumentalists give us very anointed tunes. Worship team, help us. While that is happening, if you've not written your prayer request, do that quickly. And in case you think you need to add something to it, please don't stop playing. While you are seated here, the power of God is visiting you. So be in the spirit, inside and outside, no matter how far you are. Connect in the spirit. You can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests. There is a God that answers prayer. Please make way for those who are coming out. Jesus is a healer. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. All of you who have come out I want you to wave goodbye to your infirmities and mean business with it hallelujah praise the Lord I want you to believe that Jesus still heals and he will heal you right now hallelujah we'll be very fast about it Help. just give her a chair Hallelujah. All of you standing here believe that Jesus will heal you right now. He will give us a sign. And the sign will be from one of you. Something will happen to one of you right now. And that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters. power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now when that happens then it will allow us to pray for the sick right now the 
floodgates in abundance. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let there be miracles. I see miracles everywhere. Be discerning, be spiritual. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Right now. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. I see miracles everywhere. I see your miracles everywhere. Do your miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. I see miracles everywhere. It's happening everywhere. Everywhere. Yes, I see miracles.
Gaja, gaja. From where? Pambigua. Pambigua. Yes, sir. You brought him from Pambigua. Yes, sir. What's wrong with him? You know, this is the stomach. His stomach, his stomach is swollen. Yes. It's a witchcraft attack. Witchcraft attack. They remove a bone. Uh uh. Now, tell me all the details. What is wrong with him? You don't know. It's witchcraft attack, sir. Oga, okay. love Jesus. Gaskia, you understand English now? Conjuring yes, Boka. Go back, Abba. Yes, sir. Not once, not twice. Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a shrine. I'm seeing yes. concoctions. Yes, sir. I'm even seeing them pour something and he has, he's yes, drinking. Sir. Yes, sir. See, these are some of the things that you, when you know something is demonic, don't add it with another. The devil will never heal you. It will backfire. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. He loves God. He loves God. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Selena, this is where we need, sir. Talk to him. Tell him Jesus will bring you. We tell him what she needs. He can't walk well. Yeah? Hold on, don't worry. Ogasa, talk to him. You'll be interpreting him. Huh? Tell him in the name of Jesus. He will walk well now. And that witchcraft attack will leave. And uh, ask him if he believes. And we nano go tell him what's this? The medical report. Father, this is why you anointed us. Every power that is not of God, I set you free from it right now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, you will walk normally by yourself. I release upon you the power that comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who have never seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the healing anointing coming upon him. Stomach bloated. Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come. Happened to him. Now. Yes, 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 Let me tell you something. It's not only settled. I pray for you yes, that not only this will happen, but God will use you to do this. Amen. Same thing. Receive that anointing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Baba, tell him from today. No witchcraft power. No, no chance. Well, paralyze and keep him again. Appreciate God. Go back to your seat. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh.
Stretch your fingers. fingers. They can't. They are not working. For eight months. Your hand. Yes. For how long? Eight months. Why? It just started uh, after I started playing the guitar. You started playing the guitar. And playing guitar. Song. Yes, sir. See strips things. He has been playing guitar for as long. His fingers are as fresh as that of a baby. This thing is not because of guitar. This is witchcraft. The devil does not want you to play onto the glory of God. Oh, you, you want to play for a club now? This hand will be healed. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. That's how he keeps robbing the church of potential people who worship God. Praise the Lord. You believe Jesus will heal you? All this. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you and the power of God will come upon you. You believe that? And then you move your whole hand and begin to try it. Say after me, Jesus. I believe. I believe. You're the son of the living God. You're the son of the living God. Right now. Right now. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Say it again. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Look at what is happening to his hands. 
cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move it. Go ahead, begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead, move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so stunned. You cannot even use it. Keep doing it. Keep shaking it. The power has gone and your hand recovers completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise. If we lift our hands, 
Oh, you say oh, you saints of God. Can we say it again? Call to him. He will run to us. He will run to him. He will run to us. He will lift our hands. He will lift our hands. Come now, pray. Oh, praise his name. Oh, you saints of God. Hey. Oh, sing for joy to God. Oh, sing for joy. We call to him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name, oh, you say it's our God. One time. If we call to him. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Hell's on the day by day. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. What the Lord has done, He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us victory. That's why we sing, Oh, say, yeah. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us the victory. That's why we sing, Oh, say, yeah. I say yeah, yeah. I say yeah. No baba. I say yeah. I say yeah. You don't win no. Jesus 
the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Stretch your hands here and begin to just pray in the spirit. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come, O God. We have come before the mighty one. I'd like you to pray. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request represent the challenges of your people this request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny this requests threaten the advancement of your kingdom in our lives we pray in the name that is above all names that every request here be turned into a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ no matter how impossible the situation is oh god i pray that one by one, one by one, they will come and testify of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already for some, I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital. Labor has started for her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a very prophetic moment. 
please everybody inside and outside don't let anyone distract you now lift your hands as we speak hallelujah I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed the power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things please I want you to believe please I want you to believe no matter how far you are inside and outside I want you to believe hallelujah everything that represents limitation in your life everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny I come in the name of the Lord God, the Lord God Almighty, and I declare that in this month of May, may that limitation be lifted up your life. May that limitation be lifted up your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are whatever wrong advice whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid makata katakata sheketeketepaka emproto seketelekata mankratos katabalatapa rebeketeketeketepeledebos I call them into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. hallelujah I pray for you this is the season where wisdom will be required for you to move to the next level listen the Bible says through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established through knowledge are the rooms filled with every treasurable thing wisdom for many of us is the key to the next level and this is not human wisdom it's not wisdom by scientific calculation strategies that are revealed of the spirit strategies that can take you in one day to realms that years have not brought you i pray the wisdom of the spirit may it come upon you now in the name of jesus christ the wisdom for the next dimension the wisdom for the next dimension the wisdom for the next dimension receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah one of the keys to a life of stagnation is confusion lack of direction there's nothing as terrible as a man who is clueless about what to do it can be frustrating when you are clueless you are at the middle of an ocean and you don't know what to do but there is the spirit of counsel and mind the, the dimension of the operation of the spirit that comes and speaks peace to you in the name that is above all names I pray for you that every decision you need to make every direction that you need to take for this second half of your life to truly be the year of the rain I release upon you that dimension of the spirit of counsel and might marital direction financial direction academic direction career direction no more confusion no more confusion no more confusion
Hallelujah. I pray for you. Part of the keys to stepping into the blessings of the Lord is the ability for your eyes to see opportunities. Hagar, listen, Hagar was in a place. It was a desert, but there was water. Her eyes could not see it. But when the angel of the Lord appeared unto her, suddenly she saw water. I pray you have been passing what can bless you and you have not been seeing it in this month of May. The anointing that opens the eyes of men to opportunities that can bless you. I release it upon you now. I release it upon you now. Where men see obstacles, may you see opportunities. Where men see stumbling blocks, may you see stepping stones. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Fear has kept many people from moving forward. Fear of everything. Fear of death fear of failure fear of taking action fear of moving even when god says move you say i'm afraid start that business i'm afraid take a step to marry i'm afraid do this i'm afraid move on further i'm afraid i pray for you in the name of jesus every manifestation of fear every manifestation of fear that has kept your ego on the line that will not allow you soil your hand in destiny to make progress that keeps you from being afraid every manifestation of fear that gives you a feeling of being embarrassed to take a step I cause that fear now I cause that fear now I cause that fear now when they got to the Red Sea they were afraid and when Moses went before the Lord he said tell the people to move forward the signs don't go before you they follow you you will have to take a step as a sign that you trust God take the step and die taking it let it be that it was God that killed you there is no man that took a step in the name of the Lord that did not return with a testimony for some may trust in horses Others may trust in chariots. But for us, we trust in the name of the Lord. And everything we do in the name of the Lord, He said, whatsoever you do in word and in deed, do it in the name of the Lord. I pray for you again. Fear has stopped millionaire businesses from starting up. Fear has stopped people from applying in places, high places. They think they are not qualified fear has stopped many of us fear has stopped you from starting the building project who said you are too young so long as god gives you the signal there are some of us all of us are adults in our house but our parents cannot boast of even a simple bungalow because of fear you have ten thousand go and buy a trip of sand and pour it on the ground and leave it there tell the devil i'm coming look let me tell you you will never break through in life till you take the attitude of if I perish, I perish. I pray the boldness, the audacity, the strength, the audacity to ride through without exhaustion, to ride through without fear, I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. I pray for your academics. Shekete palabata. The ten times better anointing. Ma teke 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 ta. Shekete leba. The distinguishing anointing. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. Listen. Anyone here or any family here that the devil is eyeing for death that is saying you will not see the next month or the end of this year i declare 
by the mystery of the blood the last card the hallmark of God's victory I judge the manifestation of death over your life I judge the manifestation of death over your family you will travel out and come back safe no armed robber will get you on the road no terrorist will attack you on the road when others say there is a casting down it will never be your testimony for you it will be that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus I pray over your finances the grace to pay the price now and to pay the price early for a glorious financial future I release it every spirit of laziness every spirit of carelessness every spirit of lukewarmness every inertia every reluctance to begin to take appropriate financial decisions especially for the brothers i cause it to his root now in the name of jesus christ i pray for those trusting god for a miracle job i tell you the truth when the hand of the lord upon you is upon you there will be a door that is open some of you are standing in for yourself and some for your loved ones i pray in the name that is above all names may god keep them supernatural jobs jobs that they will be proud of in the name of jesus and jabez was more honorable than his brethren it's one thing to be rich is one thing to be blessed but it's another thing to be honored honor is not something that money can buy i pray for you that mantle of honor that makes you distinguished and rewarded everywhere you go i release it upon you right now your superiors will honor you your contemporaries will honor you your subordinates will honor you even your enemies will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for everything that has died or is dying here I don't care what it is projects that have died ideas that have died dreams that have died I speak to you in the name of Jesus come back to life come back to life visions that have died assignments that have died passions that have died strengths that have died i call it back to life in the name of jesus every voice you have heard that has killed your dreams every voice you have heard that has killed your potentials the voice of your past the voice of your failure the voice of mediocres the voice of limitation i silence those voices from your life I silence those voices from your life. I pray for every ministry represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every business represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every job represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every family represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every destiny represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. The Bible says, Thou anointest my head with oil and it makes my cup to run over. There is an anointing that comes upon your head that translates into increase in your life. Thou anointed my head with oil and that oil makes my cup, my source of supply to run over. I pray for you. The anointing that will give you wisdom. The anointing that will give you creativity. The anointing that will give you ideas, insight, concepts, strategies for wealth. I release it upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you in a name that is above all names every habit every issue every challenge every weight on your life that is eating up your christian integrity that is eating up your work with god you love god but there are weights in your life that keep drawing you back to the way of sin i pray for you 
the hand of the Lord lifts you out of that nonsense. The grace of God picks you out of that limitation. Grace to say no to every appearance of evil. Grace to say no to everything that is ungodly. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray a special prayer for our brothers. I curse in your life the spirit of irresponsibility. One more time. I curse from your life and your vicinity every spirit that refuses you from rising as a man that you are. That entitlement mentality that makes you think someone else is responsible for your success. I curse that mindset in the name of Jesus. From today I release upon you grace. Grace to rise and take up the challenge of manhood. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. You will not need to defend yourself. The Lord God Almighty will be your defense. The Lord will anoint you in such a way that even your enemies will walk towards your progress. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy restoration for everything you have lost. Restoration. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I pray for you. A new dimension in the spirit. A new level of prayer grace. A new level of word grace. A new dimension of encounters with the spirit of God. Where you are becoming lukewarm. Where you are losing the initial standard of your Christian experience. Where you are already bending. Bending against the things that would make you powerful. I pray for a restoration for you. Where you have lost the voice of the spirit. I command that you be to hear his voice again. Where you have lost zeal for the house of God. I command a restoration for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. All through the remaining part of May. Into June. Let it be a month of testimonies for you. Beginning from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those who have been looking for you to bless you. May this be the season they find you. All those who have received instructions from God to hold your hands. And lift you up with no strings attached. But have not been able to find you. I pray. Listen. Listen. Samuel had already been ordained. I mean Saul ordained to be a king. But he needed to find Samuel. And they kept searching and he could not find Samuel. Until by the wisdom of God they were able to find him. You can be one anointing away from the next level of your life. You can be one prophetic impartation away. You can be one destiny helper away. I pray again for you. Whoever has been looking for you. Like the lost ass of Samson. Of, of Saul. Whoever has been looking for you to bless you and has not found you, may this be the season they find you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, I pray for you. Nothing will rob your joy this month. This will be, the month of June will be for you a month of joy and laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ before miracle service next month most of all your prayer requests would have been turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting, thank you for lifting. My hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, keep standing everybody. You're here and you need to return back to Jesus Christ. Keep standing everyone. You've heard the word of the Lord and you know that you need to make it right with Jesus. Maybe this is the first time you are running to Jesus genuinely to commit your life to him. Or you've once given your life to Jesus and you've seen that you are derailing and you need to make it right tonight. We will not end this meeting without giving you an opportunity 
to make Jesus Lord of your life or rededicate your life, wherever you are, make your way to the front right now. We have one minute for this. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't wait for anybody to be the first to come. Make your way. God bless you. God bless you. They are coming inside and outside. Celebrate them, Koinonia. God bless you as you come. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed. He will give you a new beginning. And he will supply grace. That you will go higher and higher. Higher and higher. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Run to Jesus. Keep coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Don't sit back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. To make a decision for Jesus, just raise your right hand and repeat after me consciously and from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. This is, this is a confession that brings salvation unto you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I declare from today that you are my Savior and you are my Lord. I receive of your life. I receive of your spirit. And I declare that from today, my sins are washed away. I am a brand new person. The hand of God is upon me. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is not of God, I take authority over it. I receive grace from God to live a victorious Christian life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. I want to congratulate you for making this decision. It's the best decision you can make. This decides your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details. They will welcome you more warmly. And then, we'll communicate to you through them. God bless you. This way. Draw that baby. Baby, this way. No, 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 no. All those who are worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time being here worshipping with us at Koinonia, please make your way to the front. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. Celebrate them as they come. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Come on, Koinonia. You can do better than this. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline 